Well, well, well. Here we are. You thought it was over. It's never over. I'm gonna do this DLC. What's up, everybody? My name is Gidra. Welcome back to Dark Souls 3. This is a long time coming. I'm gonna do the DLC for you guys. As you can see, the reason I haven't been posting videos is because I've been playing the snot out of this game. Uh, 30 hours invested on this character. I pretty much I did every single NPC quest line, just brand new, fresh start. Because my uh, <clears throat> I originally did do this playthrough for the DLC, the uh, the painted whatever, but um, my software thing like didn't record. It was like super laggy, so I didn't have a chance to record it properly. And I got like halfway through the DLC to find out it wasn't recording. So this time, I double-checked to make sure it is recording. You know what? I'm going to triple-check right now. Uh, my voice looks good. Game looks good. Everything's recording properly. Shouldn't be any issues. Alright, so we're going to start the DLC. And unfortunately, it's not going to be raw. I, I do know what happens in a lot of the first DLC. I haven't played the second DLC yet, so that'll be a surprise. But um, <clears throat> the first DLC, unfortunately, I do know a great deal about. But uh, let me... First, let me show you guys like what I've done. So I actually already beat the uh, Soul of Cinder on this game. And I got the Usurp the Dark ending. That's why I look like a, a bacon man. Just take this off here. See, so just get a nice nice look at the crispiness of it. Some real Dark Souls 1-esque. Uh, my Dark Sigil is like super... I, I, I'm jacked up. <laughs> As you can see, I have like... like I, I spent 30 hours, guys. I... I got everything that I I wanted, everything I possibly am going to need. Because <clears throat> what I'm going to do after I beat the DLC and I just get absolutely everything from New Game Plus, all the th plus three rings, I'm going to duplicate my characters and then I'm going to make different PvP builds for each one. It's going to be awesome. Um... But anywho, yeah, no, I, I have everything. I have all the covenants. I don't have the covenant rewards because, honestly, I don't really care about any of the covenant rewards, like, at all. At least not for this character, because this character is going to be a dex character. Um, I'm going to need to reset his stats later, but we can worry about that later. But I have the twinkling dragon head torso. I, I just, I have everything. Um... <laughs> Like, uh, I still, look, look at this, I, I got all five, uh, hold on, where are they? I got all five Titanite slabs from this playthrough, and I still have two left over. Uh, I got my babies, the Pontiff, uh, Knight Curve Sword plus five, the Sharp Long Sword plus ten, and the Lothric Sharp, uh, Long, er, uh, yeah, the sharp Lothric sword plus ten, and they uh, they do big boy damage. In fact, I'm probably let's see, I'm gonna be kind of a whore here and do just like a back st uh, stab fishing thing. Got my cra uh, grass crest shield. Oh, I need to plus five that, don't I? I'm gonna do that later. But anywho, let's get into the DLC. Let me get my outfit of choice that I've decided to run for this playthrough. Um, wait, what ring was I using? I think I was using... Yeah, no, 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 no. Prisoner's Chain. There we go. Okay. Uh, oh, that's right. Okay. No, I remember what I was doing here. I need to level up, like, one more time, actually, so that I can get the... Actually, no. You know what? No, I don't. There we go. Black Gauntlets. I just look freaking sick. Um, so, yeah. Let's, let's start the DLC. But, yeah. The reason I haven't been posting content is mainly because I've been doing this... Um, 
Let me, should I start it from, no, I'll start it from here. I've been playing this game, like, all week, and I also had a really bad, like, toe, uh, toenail infection, ingrown toenail, and so, I actually just today got it removed, which hurt like hell. But, uh, now I, I, I finally feel like I'm back to full. You done? Okay. I'll wait. Are you done? Can I talk? Can I finish my story? Anyways, I'm, I'm back to 100%. <clears throat> or pretty close to it, so... Tight spot ahead. Yeah, oh, you're so funny and original. Okay, so this is where the first DLC starts. I gotta talk to this dude. You've... You've the same scent as that woman. Thank you. Then you must be an action one. You must be. That be me. <laughs> you don't know how long I've searched. Yeah, you look like you're searching, just kind of sitting there, you know, prostrating yourself in front of this statue. Calm down, bro. So, interesting enough, I don't know if this is uh, intentional, but you see that woman behind this thing. I think that's the chick from the DLC, but I'm not sure. Oh, <laughs> Don't mind me. Didn't mean to fall apart. <laughs> now, Ashen One, I have a kindness to ask of you. My lady lives in the cold land of Ariandel. I need you to show her flame. A proper flame that will burn the rot away. If you truly are Ash, then it must be fire that you see. Oh, I'm sorry, what? Yeah, I guess I'll do that. Ah, thank you. They of Ash never fail. Just a moment, then. The painting of Ariandel. Well, rotted scrap of it, that is. Why would a painting rot? Go on. Take it. Uh. Touch it. I need an adult? No, don't do it. It's a trap. You fool! You foolish fool! You've doomed us all! And then the ashes were too. <laughs> Yo, that's a pretty good evil laugh. That that is an on point evil laugh. <clears throat> You're probably wondering, hey Gidra, why do you keep clearing your throat mm. like a jackass? The answer might surprise you. I have reflux, so every time I eat, uh, I, I cough up like all this phlegm stuff that kind of looks like this guy. Also, we're in like some rotted thing, and I think those are maggots coming out of the ground. It's it's unclear. Uh, have you just arrived? Yes. How very unusual. Just how long has it been? No, no. Choice, my new friend. For this is a true haven of the forlorn, the cold and gentle painted world of Ariandel. Cold and go, gentle. Go along. Find one for yourself, a sweetly rotting bed to lie upon. Uh, I need an adult? Ah, you're no exception. We've all seen terrible things. But you're safe now. Let it ease your burden. Ariandel will make a fine home for you. So, go on ahead. Find one oh for yeah. yourself. Oh yeah. The sweet and rotting oh, bed. Oh, do it, you filthy slut. Uh, Could a sweet 
I don't want to lie on a rotting bed. I want my bed to be a like a temper certipedic. Hmm. Just a second. Let me see something. Where is it? Uh Yeah, it looks like I'm I'm freezing. Yeah. Just make it make it realistic. It looks like snow's on my armor, sorta kinda. Eh, actually that's dumb. I'd rather have the stats. Hello, not obvious future enemy type. Oh yeah. Uh th this is Pantheon from League of Legends. And so what you do to Pantheon is you run up behind him and then you fail to backstab him for some reason. <clears throat> oh, also, I'm like level 97. I'm probably overleveled for this area, but the reason I did that was A, I couldn't beat the final boss <laughs> unless I was this level because I'm bad, and uh, B, I want to get through the DLC as fast as I can, or at least this one anyways, because like I said, I've already played through most of it, um, but the next DLC, I think you have to be like a really high level for anyway. Hey, you. Come here. Oh, no. Stop throwing shit at me. Damn. He's got some moves. Ow. All right. Let me, let me get cereal here. Come here, yo. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, buddy. Oh, I can't. I don't think I can parry a curved sword. Or whatever that crazy, funky thing he's doing is. I probably can, but. This shield, not good for parrying. Great for stamina. Alright, uh. So. <clears throat> let's see what's over here. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. I don't want to get that yet. I want to go over here. Yeah, here it is. Come here, yo. Uh -huh. It's so funny. This is the sto sword you start with with the knight class, which just happens to be the best class and it just happens to be one of the best weapons. So this is Mr. Fly, and Mr. Fly has really big, weird, like, Halo 3 uh, marathon helmet eyes. Wonder if anybody even gets that reference. That game's like a million years old. Alright, so I think that's pretty much it. Now we get to go visit... Uh, this fun area. So I think uh, there's like wolves here, and I think you have to kill them before they alert the others. There it is. Come here, Seath Jr. No, no, no. Stop alerting the others. Stop alerting the others. There we go. Everything's good. Rusted coin. I did not kill that guy. That guy just straight up died to the wolves. Alright, um... <coughs> oh, you're a biggin, aren't you? No! Damn it! Now they're all gonna come. I think. Shit. Ah, shit. Oh, wait, I'm on YouTube. Uh. Ah, poopy. <laughs> Get away from me, you mean old tree. Uh, the wolves. Oh, no, the trees. See. This is what happens when you go out into nature. Like the people and the trees and the wolves just all 
all kind of have a, a pact to kill you, and it 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 sucks. Na nature sucks. Don't go outside, kids. <laughs> Stop it. Oh. Oh my god. Yes, yes. Best air conditioner ever. Oh yeah. Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I though? Hold on. Check. I love this sword. Check this out. Guard break. <laughs> Ooh, big boy damage. Ow. Why is nature conspiring against me? <laughs> All right. You're not allowed to move. Why are you moving? Qu quit it. Be a regular tree. Stop it. Okay, so... Oh yeah, the wolves. No! Nature, you scary! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, nobody can defeat their strat. <sighs> Get away from me, you foul beasts. Yeah. Yeah. I'll show you what for. Tell me how. Moss fruit. That's a new one. Temporarily boosts all resistances. Cool. Um. Oh, yeah. I forgot about you. Uh. So, there's a spoiler alert. An upcoming boss that uses this wolf. I don't know if you kill him here if he just doesn't show up in the actual like fight or not. It's unclear. But this is uh this is Seath, non rat version. 5.12 or whatever how many this enemy type we're on now. Jeez. Can I kill Wolf Jr. first, please? Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's assess the situation. Oh my god. Assessing the situation. Situation is being assessed. Oh, there you are. Can your dad not get up here? Does he not know how to climb? Whoa, where'd he go? Damn that son of a bitch fast. Damn, nature, you scary. Where, where the fuck did he go? Where did the giant snow wolf go? Did he... Did he fall off? No way. Where... What? You know what? I'm not questioning it. Just kill the little ones. Honestly, the wolf isn't even like a big deal in this area. It's just the other wolves around him. I think he either fell off the ledge or just glitched out. Or he maybe he tried to run around and he's over here. Um let me reload my game? 
I think he used his charge attack right over the cliff. That's crazy. This should reset him, I think, question mark? There, yeah. He, uh, <laughs> he glitched out. Cool. 